Or for potential future gain. Oh, I get it. So increasing overall time preferences would lead to a less productive economy. Exactly. Viva la revolution! Come on, guys. We're gonna fight systemic injustice by burning down homes and businesses. Won't that hurt a lot of innocent people? Oh, please. Insurance will pay for it. That is extremely not how insurance works. Firstly, insurance companies don't exist to make burning down innocent people's homes and businesses more economically viable. And most small businesses can't afford the robust policies that larger chains have. They could go into debt just managing the wreckage of their business without ever getting to reopen. And if they do reopen, their insurance rates could skyrocket which means for the rest of the time they operate their business in the area, they'll make less money if they're able to turn a profit at all. All that trouble just to keep serving a community that destroyed your life's work? Who would want to do that? Not many people, as it turns out. In the 10 years following the Rodney King riots, for example, it's estimated that LA lost at least $3.8 billion in taxable sales, in part due to vendors no longer wishing to invest in the area. Whatever. I don't care about no business owner. Yeah! Richard! Small business owners are the lifeblood of this country's economy. Which is why when rioters push them out, we see lower employment rates, fewer options for consumers, and property rates dropping across the entire community. In fact, according to conservative estimates, areas which experienced riots in the 1960s saw a decline in the value of black-owned property of at least 10%. Now consider that these riots are larger than anything we've ever seen, often taking place in the poorest communities in the country as they're still struggling to recover from the lockdown recession. Rioting is wrong. You may call it the language of the unheard, but the message it sends is don't value our community because we don't. So I think we'll be staying right here. No, you won't. What's this? Some celebrity bailed out everyone in this jail. Take a pitchfork. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please check out fee.org for more educational content. Thank you.